If you're a digital artist of pretty much any kind, you're likely contemplating which type of device you should get in order to help you do all of your graphic design, animation, or illustrative work. Here are two really awesome solutions that are vastly different from each other. Legitimate options that you might want to consider for all of your work. And so, should you get the Wacom Cintiq Pro or should you get the iPad Pro? Two very different devices, but hey, two that can essentially get most of the same amount of work done. So with that said, let's see if I can help you decide. Let's dive in. And please remember that if you found this video useful to make sure that you share it with others and don't forget to leave a like if you liked it and to subscribe. I would like to start off by comparing them in terms of their physicality. And it's going to be based off of a couple of things in that regard. So both of these devices are quite different but serve similar purposes. And to me, what is really going to separate them is going to be their portability aspect. Both of these are technically very portable, but not really. The Cintiq is very thin and it's constructed of metal and glass and it's very premium materials overall. You got yourself three USB-C ports and even a full SD card slot and a headphone jack. It even has a slot for its included stylus, which is pretty cool. The iPad Pro is also constructed of aluminum and glass with speakers on the top and bottom. Now there's only one USB-C port and no headphone jack or a C card slot, though this is a standalone device and it technically will always be smaller than the Cintiq even at its largest 12.9 inch size. They're both beautiful, but in terms of build quality, now the Cintiq is going to win hands down and that's just because it's going to be a lot sturdier to its core. And the iPad Pro wins in terms of portability because you might only need a charger for it and you can use it as a standalone device. But the Cintiq requires a bunch of other cables in order to be functional, especially if you don't have a USB-C port on, on whatever device it is that you're using it with. And it's far from optimal in regards to commuting or any kind of traveling. So in that case, I do prefer the iPad Pro for its design here. However, do treat that iPad with care as it is prone to bending. However, into the next category. So in terms of displays, they both are going to have very beautiful screens. And they're both touch enabled and get very bright. Uh, gestures even even within Windows, which is pretty awesome. However, while the Cintiq has a more color accurate display with more customization options, it's only a 1920 by 1080p panel running at 60 hertz. That's not at all a bad thing, and it's not and it's not the case by any means because this is a really great display for drawing and animating and the like. And the iPad Pro has a resolution of 2388 by 1668 at 120 hertz, and that is going to be a double the refresh rate. And the colors are very beautiful, but in terms of accuracy, uh, the Cintiq just wins here. It's simply more suitable for, for all types of professional work because of its color accuracy and customization, etc. It's just a winner here. And in terms of pen capabilities, these are going to be very interesting to compare. Both the Cintiq's pen and the Apple Pencil have very little latency when drawing, even if the iPad actually has a slightly more noticeable latency here. Just slightly, just slightly, and only if you look for it really. This wasn't something I'd even realized for a long time, if I'm going to be completely honest. But the Cintiq has two remappable buttons, and it's gripped really nicely, and it's just fit for very long drawing sessions. When I do use the Apple Pencil, I do feel very comfortable drawing and all, and believe me, it's an amazing device and the best among its other competition. But it feels like the Apple Pencil is just a lot better for writing than it is for drawing. Now, the Cintiq feels more optimized for long drawing or animation sessions, and it even has an eraser tip, which is always going to be really nice to have, and it's super convenient. Now, the Cintiq wins here, even if the Apple Pencil is still really fantastic and I really love it for drawing. I just feel much more efficient writing with it instead. And in terms of customization, the Cintiq wins here again, because you can make many more adjustments to this display than what you would be able to on an iPad, for instance. And same goes for shortcuts and the like. Though, I'm kind of annoyed 
and that this version of the Cintiq doesn't have any actual remappable buttons, any physical ones at that, at the very least. And the iPad is guilty of this too. However, it is going to be a little bit more forgivable because it's supposed to be a tablet really overall. And it's not, and it's not used only for drawing, it's used for a bunch of other things. So it gets okay. But the Cintiq is still going to win here, unfortunately. For drawing performance overall, both of these are great options, but sum it up to the following essentially. And if you liked using any kind of software like Procreate and Adobe Sketch, and even SketchBook on mobile, and need a way to be able to instantly just jump into drawing on the go, just anywhere really, then very happy with the iPad Pro. It's precise, it works beautifully, and in every program I mentioned, it's an absolute joy to work with. And same goes for animation too, though animation tools are much more limited on the iPad's ecosystem, unfortunately. And with Procreate on the iPad, for instance, you do actually get quite a bit of flexibility there. However, it's just not enough in comparison to what you can get on desktop level apps. And it's one of the best options out there on the iPad at the moment. So for animation, I wouldn't look into the iPad Pro necessarily, unless you absolutely have to travel around with it, because it's still a really fantastic machine for pretty much everything else, even for that too. Now, don't get me wrong. And I have to say that the fact that the iPad Pro has a 120 hertz screen really adds to that feeling of efficiency. And it's really a godsend. I really love the iPad's screen, even if it's not really all that color accurate. And the Cintiq is obviously very good for drawing and animation. And you can use it with a myriad of different software on the desktop version, and it's going to be like, and you can get to use other software, like for example, full Photoshop and full um, Sketch Pro and pretty much full everything else if you connect it to your laptop or your desktop. And in terms of performance, it is undeniably better. And it's more precise and it's more comfortable, but, but I honestly consider this more of a stationary device that only makes sense to use if you're mostly going to stay in just one place and need those desktop level software. And some people, they really like traveling around with it. It's not something I would recommend though, like just considering how much you, you end up having to carry around with you. I wouldn't consider this really a super mobile device. And to me, it all depends on how mobile you will be and how precise you need to be, if that makes any sense. And they both offer a lot of greatness, but as an animator, I do need on the Cintiq because animation apps on the iPad are still a little bit too limited for my type of work. And I do go pretty hard when it comes to animation. So, so here is my conclusion. I love using both and that I use the iPad Pro mostly in, in all of my commutes and when I'm outside. However, if I'm home, I'm mostly using the Cintiq. I'm commuting since I can just like take out my iPad and start working on, on any animations or sketches, even editing any kind of videos, by the way. But if I'm home, I'm pretty much glued to my Cintiq. More times than not, I'm transferring all the work that I did on my iPad Pro so that I can continue uh, to work on it on a more precise device when it comes to drawing and animation. So I, and I will say this, if you're going to be mobile all of the time, and if you're a student, for example, then I would just get the iPad Pro. And it's still very precise and can be used with a lot of different great apps. And to be honest, I really love my iPad. However, if you don't need that portability, at least not to that extent, and then the Cintiq is really the device you're looking for. And this is going to be a no compromise solution for the most part, at least. A couple of caveats, however, you can check out my reviews of both of them in the description as well. And if you're interested in purchasing either the Cintiq or the iPad Pro, then I will be making sure to leave an affiliate link to Amazon for all of these things down in the description. And if you end up using any of my links to make a purchase, then I do get a small commission that does help me run things just a little bit more smoothly around here. So if you were to use those, I would appreciate that quite a bit. And also, if you like me enough, and then do make sure to also follow me on Twitch, as I like to stream there every Friday and Saturday from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. And this entire week, over the week of stream break, I'm going to be streaming pretty much every single day from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. And then and it's all going to be based off of Final Fantasy XIV. And if you like that, then please, by all means, come along, join in, links to everything below. And with that said, 
This has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy. Thank you.